see if we can see something decent in there but I'd say the big balls would be holding the, the nannies at the moment so just carved that right hand ridge there and um, hit those peaks there and go across laterally and he's just under those bluffs. You see that one that's coming up from the left? He's got a nanny just above him. Actually there's a bunch of nannies just there. I think we're just done. Um, we'll just walk up this ridge here. I know the wind's going to be blowing in there but we should be okay with every little mound that we come to, we'll check down and below us and in front of us every little bit of new country that we can see, you know, just take your time on the way. See that little grassy saddle? Yep. They're just over the saddle. You can just see his back hump. Yeah.
340 yards. Everything's come out of there but the ball. So I think you've I think you've got them. Oh, we'll go over and have a quick look. Safety on. Well I think we just killed a pretty good ball. We've been walking for two days in these hills and finally had the right set up here and Gerald spotted that ball coming through with some views and it looked like it was gonna work out. So we were able to get the gun on him. The sun was kinda tough but um, I think we made a good shot and broke his shoulder and he went down and the ewes that were with him um, took off so I'm pretty sure he'll be down. We'll give him a bit of time here. We'll see what kind of recovery we're going to have. Yeah. <laughs> well I'll stay here on video, you and Joe go. <laughs> Holy smokes. We could have shot him in an easier place like down by the road yeah. last night. Mm -hmm. 340 yards. Yeah. We don't have these hills in Saskatchewan that's for sure. Yeah, now the pack out. Yeah, now the skinny. Oh. Beautiful black face on them. Well, we looked at a lot of bulls the last couple days, some beautiful big bulls. And it's a tough hunt, there's no doubt, but the reward is huge. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> <laughs> 